Hello everybody, it's Kathy here for my Tuesday Tea Talk. Um, if you join me, can you please let me know if you hear me because I have had some problems with my mic uh, working in the last week. I don't know if anybody joined me last Tuesday, but um, it... Uh, um, I had some problems with my mic so if you are here please say hello let me know that you can hear me I have a little symbol here so I'm hoping that that means that the mic is working but uh, today we're here to talk about journalism journaling <laughs> hopefully I can say it better than that tonight um, and uh, and why and how and just um, a couple uh, little tidbits about journaling so if you're here um, can you um, first of all can you tell me that you can hear me because as I said I was having some problems with the mic and second of all can you um, uh, let me know if you currently journal or do you have a journal and how are you using it and um, love to get some interaction tonight about um, what you uh, how you're using it or, or why you're using it as well so uh, let me get into who I am and what I do my name's Kathy I'm a steep tea or sipology consultant, been doing that for over eight years now, um, selling quality loose leaf teas and tea accessories. Um, really love the products and some really fun, actually have a new teapot coming hopefully next week um, <laughs> from the, and uh, get excited about all things tea. So um, uh, yeah, if you uh, are looking for um, good quality tea, message me and I can hook you up. Uh, the other thing that I do is I do tea leaf readings. Um, so I've been doing that either 30 or 60 minute tea leaf readings um, professionally well over three years. Uh, really love uh, providing people with messages and um, and what uh, what they may need to hear um, that comes out. It's, I'm always surprised at what symbols come from the tea leaf uh, cup, as well as I'm a, uh, a mentor, an intuitive mentor. So uh, I've been doing that. Uh, well, I launched in November, but I've been doing that for a while, um, uh, helping people uh, build their own intuition and that trust in it. Um, so I'm I'm pleased to be able to do that, and I also have a new program that's coming out uh, in the email subscription, so look uh, for more information on that coming out soon. Um, but let's talk about journalism, journaling, <laughs> and hopefully I can pronounce this a little bit better. Um, again, if you're here, can you say hi, and I'm hoping that you can hear me, so it'd be really nice if someone would... Uh, acknowledge that my mic is working uh, I'd really appreciate it so um, anyways why do we journal or what is journal um, to me it makes me go back to that time when we were smaller uh, I don't know whether <clears throat> gentlemen did it as much as young ladies but we would get a diary when we were younger and we were told to write in our diary and and what should we write about and I know when I was much younger, I wrote a lot about um, my relationships and boys, of course. So um, that uh, is what brings back me memories when I hear the word uh, diary. So um, it's uh, it, it's um, interesting how uh, um, it has evolved from then. And I see that someone's looking for me. <laughs> can't find me online so hopefully she uh, she manages to do that uh, later um, but uh, let's continue about why we might want to journal and I mean really journal is just writing down whatever thoughts or feelings that you have um, it doesn't have to be complicated I was reading um, an article and one person was recommending um, that we just if we are starting new to journaling that we only do 
one or two minutes um, not to make it a long um, process. Um, I would probably recommend that you start with five, um, but commit yourself to five minutes either first thing in the morning or at night or both, um, depending on what you um, what you want to journal about. And um, we're going to talk a little bit about some of my ideas for what you might want to journal with. But um, but yeah, when I uh, when I look it up, it says that there's a lot of scientific facts that have been shown to uh, that it helps, especially with stress and with figuring things out. So let's say you've got a lot of decisions to make. Um, journal is, when you journal, you can get that down on paper and it helps you become clearer on which path you may want to take or what you might want to do next or even give you an idea like you come back and read it a month later and it makes more sense and, and it helps you figure things out. So it's a really good way to put your thoughts and feelings down and not necessarily have to do anything immediately with them as well. So um, yeah, there's there's lots of people that tell us that we need to uh, to keep a record. One of the, the things I'm looking over at my cheat sheet here, one of the nice things that um, they talked about was also um, keeping records for our grandchildren. Because I know I was always curious about what my grandparents were doing, you know, great grandparents, um, what, uh, you know, what was their life like, um, you know, what did they fill their day with, um, you know, how did they, they even feel. Um, so that's one unique idea that I thought, oh, hi, Allison's here. Thank you for letting me know. Um, you can hear me, right, Allison? I, as I said earlier, I'm having problems with the microphone. So if you can just give me a quick yes, I'd appreciate that. Um, yeah, so, um, that was a un unique idea. I, um, I heard about, uh, journal, journal, uh, the word is not coming. You guys know what I'm talking about. <laughs> when we journal, um, we could leave it as a record of what's currently happening. Um, anybody that's uh, really a history buff. Oh, thank you, Allison. Um, that is a good way um, to keep records. I mean, not necessarily that we want any notoriety, but, you know, to have your grandchildren be able to look at some of the accomplishments you may have had or some of even the struggles. Like, I know some people are writing about the COVID-19 and what's currently going on now, and it's really helping them to deal with some of those emotions because we, we feel, a lot of us feel like we've lost control or or not able to you know do anything um and when we journal we can get release some of that and you know maybe feel like we have some control over um a few um other things as well so uh if you're journaling for um for feelings um it's always a good way to kind of, you know, as I said, I mentioned about uh, having a diary when I was younger and I'd write about boys and, and how I was so upset that this one didn't look at me or that one wouldn't return a phone call or, or whatever. Um, I just think it's a great way to kind of release some of that energy so that we don't keep everything all bottled up inside. It's not good for us to, um, to keep a lot of that energy. Um, the other thing that I really find that I use journaling for is for my intuition. So, um, as I said, I do a mentoring program for um, for people that are trying to build their inf intuition and try to feel a little more comfortable. And journaling is a really great way um, to realize that you've you have had those little nudges or those feelings, um, but you may not have listened to them. So I write things like quotes in there. If I see something um, that's really motivating that day, um, you know, we all we all um, feel like we could use a little bit more money. So I have my my mantras about money, um, but I also write down ideas. So when I'm thinking about maybe a new way to do my business or um, if I want to, um, you know, expand on something or, you know, it's a, just a good way to put 
ideas down and have them and as I said you can then go back and look at them later and decide whether or not they might work for you or even you meet a new person and when you meet that person then that kind of opens up another door and you realize oh I had thought about that before where I think if we don't actually write it down we tend to forget about a lot of that stuff so um, I find that journaling has helped me a lot in my business by keeping everything in one place and one um one idea so what i what i use is just a plain a plain workbook i know um some people um like to have a nice pretty one and have certain things um but even my ideas for what i'm going to be doing on my facebook lives they go in here um you know each day i get um i uh, have a, a tarot card as well that uh, um, and that has built up so that um, I understand a lot more about the tarot and what the sim the signs are and uh, the meaning of each. Um, so that's one of the other things I put in my journal um, as well. Um, yeah, so let's see. I'm just looking at my little list of, of things that they're re they were recommending that I thought was appropriate. Um, so one person was saying one of the best things to do is to start the, in the morning. So, you know, we're not talking about a to-do list, so we don't want to necessarily um, overwhelm ourselves. But in the morning, you might write down things that you're looking forward to or what, what you're grateful for. You know, if you've got um, a pet, um or you're looking forward to the, the fact that you're going to go for a nature walk today or you're, you know, maybe you're going to meet a friend that you haven't seen in a long time. Um, you know, those sort of things um, to start your day, um, acknowledge them and be grateful for them. So those are a good way if you're going to journal in the morning. Um, and then I find at nighttime is when I kind of try to work through some of those tougher feelings. You know, I had a frustrating day at work or, um, you know, COVID's, uh, you know, lockdown has started again. And, you know, just be, being more truthful about what I'm actually feeling, I tend to write that more at night because um, I want to start my day um, in a good place. So I talk about more positive things first thing in the morning. Um, they're also saying that, um, as I, I had mentioned about quotes um, as well, if you like a certain quote, it's always uh, good to have it all in one place. Um, it's a great thing to do for brainstorming, as I mentioned as well. So if you get a good idea, write it down. It, you don't have to even elaborate on it until much later. So if you've got it written down, you can go back to your book and then... Um, and then use it to uh, to spark the the next and then maybe expand on that idea it just has to start as a little seed um, now one of the other great ways that someone had um, mentioned was with um, prompts so I'll just read what the first one is and so they ask you a question my favorite way to spend the day is so this just gives you an idea of what you might be dreaming about or, or what you might be looking forward to. Um, make a list of 30 things that make you smile. You know, so you can use, you know, obviously Google has tons of stuff on it for, for journaling. Um, but if you're finding that you have a hard time finding something to write about, some of these prompts would be um, great for you to, to start. Um, as I said, I don't recommend that you go and you write for an hour to start. Um, just go and even throughout the day, I will do that if I've, I find an idea or if I get an inspiration or... Um, something happens I will go and write it in my book um, so again that it's all in one spot uh, um, another thing here um, I really wish others knew this about me um, I couldn't imagine living without dot 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 um, so just to give you some ideas of some of the things that you might write about or you might consider writing about um, but uh, please if any Anybody is currently journaling I'd love to hear about what you're journaling how you're using it whether any of these ideas are sparking you to maybe pick up uh, the pen again um, and uh, and do that there we go hey Lori 
<laughs> Laurie managed to get on and find out where I am. I'm almost done, Laurie, but um, I uh, um, you can go back and watch this video on my uh, on my business page later. But um, I just wanted to wrap up and say uh, thank you for joining me. Um, if you are interested in booking a 30 or 60 minute tea leaf reading, I do those on Sundays, Tuesdays, and Fridays. Um, so you can always uh, uh, message me if um, if you're interested in that. If you'd like to know more about my intuitive mentoring program, which, as I said, um, journaling is part of that, um, again, send me a message and we can discuss um, the cost as well as um, what else is in the program. So I just want to say thank you so much for joining me tonight. And if you have any comments or questions, please reach out and let me know. Have a good night, everyone. Bye.